Today I'm going to tell a story. A story that probably most people can't tell. So this is a story of how myself and three of my other friends managed to beat Apple to making the unofficial Apple web music player. Now I'm not just talking about any Apple company, I'm talking about the company that is worth a trillion dollars and apparently is one of the most successful companies in the world. So you guys might be wondering why I'm, you know, surrounded by trees right now, why I'm somewhere which seems like the middle of nowhere. Well, I decided to just take a little hike to make the story time a bit more interesting, so I just don't sit by my desk. So how did the story happen in the first place? Well, let me tell you. We participated in something called SIP, which is the Cisco International Internship Program. And basically what it offers is it sends a selected amount of students from all around the world to Silicon Valley in California to work for a tech guru or a very big tech corporate company for a whole year. Now obviously when you get such an amazing opportunity to be at such an amazing place, you want to make the most of it. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to network with people, we wanted to socialize, we wanted to attend tech events and most importantly participate in hackathons. And hackathons is a place which is like a hub for developers and entrepreneurs and new people to come and meet each other and develop something that's, you know, amazing and could become something great. And a hackathon was something that made us create music. And why music? Well, because at first we were going to create, you know, an Apple music player that's a bit ish. So on the 1st of December, me along with my three other friends attended a local hack day in San Francisco, uh, sponsored by GitHub. And it was only a 12 hour hackathon. They weren't requiring us to build anything that's, you know, incredibly good and incredibly effective. It was just more of a day where we can just, you know, have fun and relax a bit. Now, before we did go, we needed some kind of idea to, to take to the hackathon so we can have something to work on. And one of my friends was very interested in Apple and has always been. And he was watching the conference, the Apple conference where they released all the new products. From that conference, he was made aware that Apple has released an Apple Music API and a Music JS kit. And it's something that we could use to create a service that allows people to stream their music online. So to make an online version of essentially the iTunes app. Now fast forward to the end of the hackathon, it came to the judging time and we actually ended up winning it. Now it wasn't like a huge hackathon, it wasn't uh, anything that you know we could be really proud of, but it was a motivation for us to continue working on the product because we knew that people liked it, we got good feedback from it. And that's basically what happened. Guys, the sun is coming down, I can barely feel my hands, so I'm gonna go and find somewhere to sit inside, get a warm drink and continue with the story. until about mid-January when we actually had the end product to release. And the release of Music is where the actual fun started. So we wanted to get Music out to the public. We wanted people to know about it, hear about it, but we wanted to do that in the most natural way possible. We didn't want to spam the whole internet with links to Music uh, and, and do all of that dodgy stuff that people do. So we decided that what we're going to do is just make two posts on Reddit under a relevant subreddit so people can see, so there's people that are actually interested in what we do. Now, our genuine expectations of this were that, you know, we're going to make these two posts, we might get some feedback, some comments, maybe a few users, but that's it. To our amazement, those two posts have absolutely exploded over Reddit. We were getting upvotes, we were getting comments, we were getting great feedback. And a lot of the people that actually tried it out and used it said that it's better than iTunes itself. Now that was mind-blowing for us, how we were four interns and we managed to create a piece of software that would satisfy people so much. And we were shocked that, you know, there was that niche in the market 
that was not exploited and that Apple hasn't created a web music player like its competitor Spotify. So we just kind of jumped on that boat and took it. Now you might think that's cool, but it gets so much better than that. Now a couple of days later after releasing Musish, obviously as for absolutely hyped students, we were constantly checking if Musish is getting featured anywhere. Now, a little time into releasing Musish, and because of its increasing popularity, we were getting more exposure. Now, to our absolute amazement, we had three of the biggest bloggers uh, that specialize in blogging about Apple products or just tech in general post about us, and they were Mac Rumors, 9to5Mac, Cult of Mac. Now, that broke the barrier for us. This is where everything started becoming popular. We started having articles written about us all over the world. One thing I didn't mention is Musish was always an open source project. We wanted the whole code to be available to the public. We wanted people from the public to be able to contribute, to be able to be part of Musish. It, it was more like a community rather than anything else that we wanted to achieve. Now, obviously, because Musish was open source, people could go on our project and star our project and give us stars. And that's how you identify if a repository is beneficial if it's good, if people like it, if it's useful. Now this is where it gets even more crazy. Because people liked the work that we did and they were giving us stars, we started becoming more popular on GitHub to the point where we became number one trending in JavaScript and number two trending on the whole of GitHub when it comes to repositories and organizations. Essentially, it started off from being, you know, something that we will do for fun to becoming something that a lot of people appreciate and use, and it makes their life easier. By the end of January, we had about 20,000 unique users from about 141 different countries. Fast forward a few months, and by the 1st of July, we had 181,000 unique users from 199 different countries. Now one day we were just working, uh, fixing some bugs I think on Musish or there was something that we were doing and we all got an email from an Apple employee uh, that they know about our product, they think it's amazing and they would like to invite us to their headquarters for lunch. Oh my God. We didn't know what to do. I read that email probably like 30 times because I couldn't believe my eyes. But it, it, it was true. They, they wanted to meet us. Absolutely insane. Amazing. I was blown away. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to feel. Amazing. A trillion dollar company wanting to discuss something with you that you've made that they think is a really good product and they, you know, are looking at it and they're using it. It was amazing. It was absolutely, hands down, the most amazing thing that has probably ever happened to me. Now, to be 22, still not having graduated university, to be able to achieve what we have as a group and as an individual is absolutely amazing. So I encourage every single one of you at university to be able to do that, to be able to go out there and be creative and make things because you never know. A simple idea like that can become something that becomes so big and gives you so much experience in life. So I just got home and one of the important things I forgot to mention is the fact that this project wouldn't exist without three of my other friends. So I want to credit them for that. And I'm going to post their personal website links in the description and their GitHub links in the description. Um, I'll also post the link to Musish so you guys can check it out if you still haven't heard about it. I'm a new creator. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it inspirational, please give it a thumbs up. And please also subscribe to the channel if you want to see future content. Now, if any of you ever heard of Musish, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll be happy to, you know, have a discussion with you and hear your thoughts about it. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.